These are the med beds from Jared Rand and Mark Z summarized from a conversation they had. We don't have the prototype yet, but we have a celestial chamber, that's the med bed, that re-atomizes, what is that? It's changing our basic makeup. The human body from head to toe, inside and out, three minutes. That's when the Lord spoke to me and said, absolutely, you do not get in that or you will lose your salvation because it changes you from two strand to three strand. We inherit three G anomalies from our ancestors like diabetes, heart issues, defects depending on lifestyle. All those issues are removed in the process. We don't inherit diseases from our ancestors, so the cell structure of the body is quite interesting. It goes to the mitochondria of the quantum level of the body structure. Then we go to the organs and the telomeres, and it remaps the whole biological body in three minutes. Did you catch that? What is that? Remapping the whole biological body. What is that? Putting the seed of the serpent into us all. That's what they want to do. Make us all mutants so we all can get strange and powerful and wonderful things done to our body so we can all show up at Armageddon, so we can all be fighting against him that sat on the horse. Of course, we've also read Revelation 19 where it says, and they were slain by the sword of him that sat on the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. So if you don't want to be eating one of the fowls, then I would suggest you not get in one of those med beds. Now, you heard what he just said. Don't get in a med bed or you're going to lose your salvation. He said that early on. That's what the Lord told him. So this guy that's claiming he's from Venus, calling himself Valiant Thor, that's how you know he's a fallen angel. He's a hyper intelligence and he doesn't get old and all this and that. Oh, well, he's going down in the domes and, and helping the Patriots rescue the kids and all this and that. Well, hey. They have to do something for you to get to get you to trust them. And this is how the fallen angels are fooling the patriots. Patriots getting fooled because you got Satan's control opposition force going down there and acting like they're helping, you know. Well, they they create the problem and then they solve the problem to to pull on your heartstrings. You know, they the Satan Satan size consists of the reptilians which you know are the bad guys because of the way they look but the fallen angels looking like star trek heroes and looking like these heroes they're the enemy too but they know for a fact that you won't go worship or, or follow a devil around so they have to have somebody that looks like a hero and this is how the patriots are being fooled right now they're being fooled by all these fallen angel groups uh a galactic federation of light and then the ashtar command all these fallen angel groups that are presenting themselves like heroes or maybe helping out a little bit helping out the human to helping out to rescue the kids that that they set up anyway for all the human trafficking they the ones set all that up and they're going to help you so that you they will gain your trust and no way no there's no faster way to gain your trust than to be helping out with rescuing kids come on you got to see through this stuff. That, I mean, this is this is simple. They just fallen angel groups. They get together and they laugh and they brag about how easy it is to fool to fool human beings. You know, the Bible says test the spirits anyway. So this valiant Thor at the Pentagon guy that's been there. Hey, won't you ask him? Won't you ask him who is Jesus Christ to him? Is Ask him is Jesus Christ his Lord and Savior and King. Ask him or better yet. Plead the blood of Jesus on him. Say, blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus on you, valiant Thor. And if he can't handle that, that means he's not on God's side. If you plead the blood of Jesus on a Christian or a believer or God's angels, it won't harm us because we're on God's side. So you got to test the spirits with the blood of Jesus. So no more of this getting fooled by fallen angel groups pretending to be on our side and stuff. You know, the whole the whole Alex Jones effect, that whole thing, they'll control opposition. You know, we, we, we have to be smarter than this. We got to see through this stuff. It does one pass, the evaluation analysis of the body, and it finds any anomalies to repair. The process uses 6D. It is a lot different than 3D.
The array uses holographic imaging as it scans. A person can see the holographic image of themselves from every aspect. Then you can literally design within reason certain areas of the body to change. If you want increased height, different bone structures, different muscle structure, different eye or hair color, you can change that. It shows you the finished changes before starting, the complete and end result of what you would like to look like. We give them counseling so they get more comfortable with their choices because when reality hits, there is such a difference. That's right, there's a difference because you're no longer 100% human. You're no longer made in the image of God. You are now the seed of the serpent. Yes, I'm going to be young again, but when reality hits, sometimes it's a different story. Not everybody is comfortable with these changes. You won't like the changes. Don't get in a med bed. When you go into the chamber. All right, you heard what he said. And, uh, and he's just repeating what the Lord said. Don't get in a med bed. Don't be a hard head. You know what I mean? And don't listen. If Valiant Thor is telling you Patriots get in the med bed, hey, that's letting you know right there what side he's on. Ain't nobody from Venus and all that stuff. Nobody living on Venus. Only ones that can live inside the firmament are fallen angels, period. Humans can't live inside the firmament. In between in the firmament, which is heaven number two, is in between the firmament number one where the open sky where the birds fly. That's, what, that's the only place we got access to. Heaven two, that's the closed, the closed firmament. That's where the sun, moon, and stars are, placed by God. Read Genesis. Genesis tells you how God laid it out. And then above that firmament is where God's throne sits. Right on the top of the firmament. In heaven number three. And you don't have access to either one of those places in a human flesh body. Period. So stop being fooled by all these. Fakers, NASA and all this crap, you know, that's NASA all of a sudden, oh, they don't know how to go back to the moon and all this stuff. Yeah, they don't they don't want to risk going back now because there's too many eyes, you know, especially when Trump got in there. They really got scared because that, that Trump would spill the beans on them, you know, so they ain't going to be trying to fake and going to the moon and all that stuff, you know, so now they're acting like they don't know how to go back. You know, and that Don Pettit dude, he the way that he was explaining it, it's like he's purposely trying to make you not believe him. You know, it was so lame the way that, oh, we forgot how to go back and it'll be a painstaking process to rebuild and all this crap. Well, anyway, better not get in the mad bed. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Don't be hard headed. Don't get in the mad bed or you're going to lose your salvation because it's going to turn your DNA into Lucifer's DNA. All right. You will lay down. The machine uses melatonin exciter in the cranium. You go into a deep sleep. Then there are no incisions or electrifying fields. The system scans you to the smallest particle, smallest particle. It looks at your arteries, the blood flowing in the arteries. We see every operation within the internal structure of your body externally. Then using controlled artificial intelligence, it scans the body in in about a minute. Then it gives us a reading of your holographic image. It takes a minute and a half to repass and re-atomize your body. What does that do? It changes you from being the image of God to being the seed of the serpent. It puts the serpent's part in you. You might see a little light refraction in the telecon particle in the plasma array field that goes over your body, but it's not much. Once it's done, you wake up with a new body. That's right. And you wake up going to hell. You can just repair or make changes or change your body, become immortal. You can change to whatever age you like. Now, like a 90 year old might decide to be 27 or 30 years old. They still have the same memories of life experiences in their life, but those don't get removed. But now a 90 year old is, say, 30 years old again. Now, <laughs> Uh, let me tell you a story. I was sitting outside of the racquetball court, and there was a couple of guys, probably 17, 18 years old, and they looked at me and the other guy that's, you know, I'm 69, come off the racquetball court, and I could just feel what they were thinking. They were thinking, man, I'm glad I'm not old like that guy. And it was so clear. I turned to him, and I said, you know, I know you guys might be thinking, Man, I'm glad that I'm not old like those guys. And they both looked at me startled like I knew their thoughts. I think God let me know their thoughts. And I said, but let me just say that we old guys wouldn't want to relive our life. We would not want to be your age, even if we had the choice. In other words, my attitude is, 
let me do my job, Lord, and then go home to be with you. I don't want to be young again. Yes, it would have been nice when I was young to not make so many stupid mistakes. I think we all think that. Those don't get removed. But now a nine-year-old is, say, 30 years old again. You have the wisdom of 90 in a 30-year-old body. It's a big adjustment emotionally, and that's why we talked with them and canceled them before they go through the whole process. They'll be younger than the grandkids in most cases and some great-great-grandkids. Now they have no anomalies or defects. They don't age. They don't age. Did you catch that? Remember the scripture that says, In those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, but death shall flee from them? Here's how. Some decide they don't want to be immortal, but they would like to be young again, so that's fine, but the aging is much slower the second time around because of the adjustments we've made, because they have changed who you are, you see. Our brains have this reptilian gene implanted in us long ago. It's an aggressive gene causing us to be quick to temper and confront each other. In other words, instead of having a loving heart, we have a heart that desires knowledge and to get ahead of our fellow brother and sister. We can remove that aggressive gene. Don't believe it. The person doesn't become milk toast and they won't be too quick to get angry and do bodily harm to others. Don't believe it. Here's a uh, clip. And this guy's showing you how that they can track and are tracking people that have the anti-V. So today I want to take a look. Anyway. That's enough. You go to Prophecy with Stan's channel and get the full video. And just remember, don't get in the med bed. I don't care. I don't, don't get in the med bed. I don't care how good they make it sound and tell you all the, the, the pros and all this and that. The con is you're going to hell if you take if you get in that med bed because it changes your DNA to Lucifer's DNA. All right. God bless.